In this video, we'll learn to deal with setbacks. After debating the good and the bad about different mindsets, it becomes clear that the way the mind responds to setbacks, disappointments, or failure is very important. For instance, for a fixed mindset, a setback becomes a failure that distorts reality. This distorted view prevents people from seeing a situation for what it is. And without a clear picture of the situation, it can become impossible to pivot, solve, or make any progress. But for a growth mindset, this setback doesn't become overwhelming. In fact, it is often seen as something that will redirect your efforts in the right direction. The importance of failure. For the go-getters, failure provides the opportunity to understand the gaps between what they wanted and the results they got. For anyone interested in improving their performance and results in the future, a little setback can take them a long way forward. This is because the setback provides the chance to locate the cause of the mistake and then adapt future efforts accordingly. Since it is important to realize that there will never be a situation where everything is perfect, it is equally important to expect setbacks on the way. The growth mindset sees failure as a stepping stone from which it can learn the following valuable life lessons. Experience and knowledge. The first important lesson learned from a mistake, setback, or failure is experience. When you make a mistake, you take with you first-hand experience which helps you develop a deeper understanding. The experience helps you alter your frame of mind and reflect on the real nature of things. Another aspect of the same is that it brings with it first-hand knowledge. If you have growth mindset, you will use that knowledge in the future to overcome that very same failure. Resilience and Growth Setbacks also help build resilience. To become successful, it is important that you know how to be resilient, so that your first instinct isn't to quit. The same resilience also leads to growth where you learn to evolve in the face of adversity. Accepting that it's all right to experience an occasional setback allows you to recover from failure faster. Having said that, remember while it's okay to fail, it's not okay to give up. Change your strategy. Failure is an effective way to realize the need for change in your plans or strategies. While it is important to have a good plan in mind for success, it should not be set in stone. Instead, it should be flexible enough to allow you to review your approach, adjusting and measuring things as you move along. The important consideration in this aspect is that your goals should stay the same, but your plan should constantly evolve. Seeking inspiration through others. As you have already seen, the growth mindset seeks inspiration through others who are better at something, more successful, and get the desired results. This inspiration may be magnified even further, your setback causes you to seek inspiration through others. You may start looking to well-known personalities from all walks of life and realize that every successful person has gone through a number of setbacks before achieving success. Using failure as leverage. You can use any setback as leverage to not only recover from, but also to propel forward. To leverage your setbacks, you need to know what you failed at and why. You also need to be aware of what you can do differently and how to avoid the same mistakes again. This mindset will help you move past your mistakes instead of equating failure with complete defeat. With the right mindset, you learn to grow and mature, gain new understanding and perspective on everything from love, life, business, money, relationships, and people. During this process, you're forced to make new connections and bridge gaps where you hadn't connected the dots before, redefining priorities and values. Depending on your mindset, setbacks can either make you or break you. For the growth mindset, failure helps you reassess your priorities. Once you realize that a setback is only a temporary hurdle, you learn to look beyond it. You start reordering things that are most important and shuffle others around. In an attempt to recover and improve yourself, you start to make the needed adjustments. At the same time, each subsequent failure also helps reshape values. Since the growth mindset centers on constant evolution and improvement, you will realize that what you valued 10 years before is not what you value today. It's a constant work in progress that learns to move ahead, leaving setbacks behind. Don't let your failures define you. When you come across a setback, it's tempting to let it shape the way you see yourself. For instance, a failed relationship may make you believe that you're not as attractive as you thought. Or a job you really wanted but didn't get could make you believe that you're not that smart after all. However, it's important to understand that your worth isn't determined by circumstance. A better option would be to assess your skills and strengths by thinking about major setbacks from the past. Reviewing how you overcome those earlier obstacles can help devise a solid strategy helps reach your potential. For most people, failing means that they actually tried. They put forth effort to do something worthwhile which didn't work out. But both trying and failing can become valuable teachers for anyone with a growth mindset. Failure promotes better thinking and prepares you to maximize your potential for future efforts. 
The same also builds you up in ways you never thought possible by allowing you to take responsibility for your mistakes. Often, it's hard to realize what you're capable of until you try after failure. This also helps develop your potential. Failure is always better than regret. Failing is a much better alternative to regretting. Think about living with regret not knowing what could have happened had you applied for that job. And then compare it with failing to secure the job but finding out where your shortcomings lay. At least with the failure option, you're closer to getting it right the next time. Success that comes easy often leaves tons of room for failure as it makes you feel that nothing could go wrong. But failure helps you not underestimate success and try harder next time. Regret, on the other hand, provides no such opportunity and only leaves you feeling dismal. Setbacks yield a sense of direction. Most people keep second-guessing the decisions they take. They do so not because these decisions are right or wrong, but only because they aren't sure how things might pan out. But should a decision hit a setback, it points to a path for redirection. Now a growth mindset is quick to grab this opportunity and learns from its mistakes. It develops a sense of clarity on where things went wrong and how to redirect your efforts to correct the mistake. And because redirection takes you into new venues, you get to explore more options and step out of your comfort zone. In this sense, failure can also help you get rid of the fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.